Now, good morning, Ginger. Yeah, Robin, we see alerts all the way to Texas, which I'll show you in a moment. But first, when you see the severity of something like this, numbers over 16 inches in just two days. That's Ventura County, Santa Barbara County. We're approaching daily January records. You say, why is this happening? Well, we have a reason, and it's the jet stream. Remember, the jetting around Thailand, Southeast Asia, grabbing those atmospheric rivers, grabbing that warm water of the Pacific, and pushing it toward and really slamming it into California and the Oregon State Line. So what's going to happen is we'll have another series of these storms today, tomorrow, another one this weekend. Doesn't look like it ends in the next seven days. You have high wind alerts all the way to Wyoming, Texas, and New Mexico. George, another 5 to 10 inches in just the next week widespread. Wow, a lot more coming. Okay. The benefit to this inundation is a whole lot of snow that ends up going into the reservoirs in California. Mm. Northern California is going to be looking good because that's the biggest season. And now we're getting it again. Mammoth, just incredible numbers to come on top of what we just had. And this is just feet and feet upon feet in the last couple of weeks, which is tough for ski resorts because with the wind, they often have to shut down, which many of them are. Today, water goes. Southern California, Lake Mead, Lake Powell, they need snow in Colorado, which doesn't look as prolific. Your local weather in 30 seconds now. Just moments ago, Copernicus, which is a European agency, just released their global climate report. And they coming up here on GMA, Haley Bieber is revealing her struggle with PTSD following her mini stroke and how she's trying to handle her fears. And Becky Worley is getting some help trying athletic headbands before you buy them. Plus, could getting electric shocks be the key to shorter but better workouts? I'm going to have great workouts because we've been shocking people all day. Your local news and weather next. Thanks, Thank Robin. You, you know, Thank Philadelphia you. is starting the morning just above freezing, which is about average for them, but it has been an incredibly warm start to the year. So the last 10 days, 13 plus degrees above average. So you see them on the Earth Cam here. They have also been snowless, as has New York City as far as measurable snow. And it looks like one of these systems that's moving through the West will eventually pick up and match up with another storm bringing rain to the coast. Doesn't look like snow at this very point, but much needed rain in some places Thursday into Friday morning. So watch for that. that could impact some travel. And again, we're talking about the latest snow in Philadelphia ever on record. That was February 3rd, 1995. So we're closing in on it. Let's get a check a little closer to home. And enjoy the warmth in Dallas, that's for sure. Today they could near a record. Tomorrow could tie or break a record as well. Our Earth Cam showing a very easy start. Some parts of South Texas do have a lot of fog this morning, so watch for that dense fog. But when that all burns off, you're going to let the sun shine in and the temperatures go well up into the 80s. So Dallas, not the only one that could break records today, tomorrow. And then there's a fire danger, especially the farther northwest you go. Let's get a check now a little closer to home. Not for our waistlines this week. <laughs> It's worth it. It's worth it. Before we go, the GMA family keeps on a growing. Senior producer.